Wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. You are watching Life with Ben exclusively on PTV. We're getting to the halfway point of my wine advent calendar. And I couldn't be more excited because that means I may be subjected to less bad wine in the near future. Last week was the week of swill. I had a lot of bad opportunities that happened upon my palate. <laughs> I guess that's a good way of putting it. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon tonight. I had not seen the label on this. I hadn't even paid attention to it on the side of the box. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon from the Columbia Valley, Washington. The winery is Lady Killer. This looks like a James Bond label. <laughs> now, I do like cabs, and while last week was the week of swill, I'm hoping for a much better result starting with this week. It's got an okay fragrance, but we'll see what it's like on the tongue. I've had better cabs. I'm really disappointed with this. I was hoping for a better week, but so far this is not starting out that great. Although it is warming my insides, so it's doing what wine is supposed to do. Of course, that could be that I haven't had my dinner yet. It's all right, it's not the best. Maybe tomorrow will be better. We're already halfway through the advent calendar here that uh, I've been sampling all month. Today is December 13th and I'm going to go ahead and get the next wine. This is a French columbard called Twinkle. I didn't know the French columbard. I'd never really heard of it before. So I did a little bit of research before I, before I uh, drank this one. The French Columbard grapes are grown in France, South Africa, and California. And luckily, this one is not from the, the, the valley in Washington, where so many of these wonderful wines have been coming from. Uh, <laughs> this is from California, so we're going to go ahead and give this a sample. Again, it should be chilled since it's a white, and it's supposedly a very dry white. And it smells like a white. And it tastes like a white. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is terrible. I'd like to see if it's, uh, if I can try it uh, chilled down. So I'm gonna probably refrigerate it next and then sample it again but this one is not that bad as far as a dry white wine goes it's actually quite palatable yeah it's not bad it's a nice surprise considering that i've been dealing with a lot in this box that i would have rather not ever sampled december 14th i'm ready for my bottle of wine again I've dressed up my set a little bit more with more trees, like I need more trees on this set. Let's see what the 14th has. Uh, why are some of these so difficult to pull out? This is a Shiraz, not a Syrah. Or a petite Syrah, this is a Shiraz. So, <laughs> finally getting it correct. 
It's freestyling and it is in California. They've got a, a little skateboard here for freestyling. That's very clever. Let's give it a shot. Ugh. Is it sad that I'm already tired of this? Let's try. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. I will not subject myself to this anymore. This is terrible. Uh, uh, thank goodness for a Diet Coke chaser. This is awful. 10 more days. We're halfway through the week now. It is Wednesday, December 15th. And right now, I just don't care whether it's red or white that I'm drinking or sampling. It doesn't have to be refrigerated. I already know that I'm probably gonna be disappointed, which is a sad way to approach this. Today is a Riesling, it's number 15. At least that's what the side of the box says. Finally. I hope all this work this evening does not end in disappointment. This thing doesn't want to close properly. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and there's still another nine days to go after this. This actually doesn't smell that bad. It is Solar Plexus Riesling from the Columbia Valley, Washington. Okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This is really nice. It's light, it's not too dry, and fairly palatable. It's a, it's a really nice surprise considering I've been tortured so much over the last week and a half with this box of crap. All right, this is, this is one I will most likely kind of finish. I may even just stick it in the refrigerator for a little bit to get it chilled down. So I'm very, very pleased. It's Thursday, December 16th, and if I look a mess tonight, it's because I just got home after a I long found day. This on the web. Shut up. It's Thursday night, December 16th. I just got home from a very long day at work, followed by an outing to Ikea with Sherry so we could pick up a piece of furniture for her son that wasn't in stock in the local Ikea in the Central Valley. Long story short, I need a glass of wine. I need a good glass of wine. And I think I may have come to the wrong place for that. Let's give it a shot. Last night was a white, tonight is a white. This one is a Sauvignon Blanc Tranquil. Or Tranquil, Tranquille. I need Tranquil. This is from California. Let's hope this Sauvignon Blanc isn't too dry where I find it repulsing. It smells okay. Let's give it a shot. I'm either desperate for a glass of wine or this is okay, but the aftertaste is telling me it's not. Just another disappointment after a very long day and maybe I should just take a shot of NyQuil and end it. It's Friday night, December 17th. We're one week away from finishing this box of wine. 
Do I look frazzled? I feel frazzled. I've been crazy busy at work this week. Crazy busy here at home, running errands after work. I, you know, I am so tired. Christmas is a lot of work. I need a real bottle of wine. Now this, this is a real bottle of wine. This is a Castle Rock Pinot Noir Reserve from 2019 from the Russia, Russian River Valley in Sonoma County. This is wine. This, it's a box of sick. I don't know what to expect. Tonight is a red blend. I saw that on the side of the box. Number 17. This box is getting all chewed out. Oh, this, this looks promising. Silent Hunter. It's a red blend from California. I'm gonna give this a shot. The smell isn't that bad. The aroma, yeah, it's not terrible, but I still have to put it on my tongue. Huh, this actually isn't that bad. I've definitely had worse and this box is proof that I've had worse, but they're, I think they're easing in to some better flavors here for the rest of the calendar. At least I hope so. It's a big owl for the silent hunter. This one's passable. Saturday, December 18th. It's the last Saturday before Christmas next week. I only have seven more wines to get through, including the one that I'm going to sample right now. The 18th. Boy, this thing looks all war-torn. There's a lot of holes in here now. Wow. <laughs> Okay, this one is called Christmas Sweater. It's a Malbec from California. <laughs> okay, I know I've had a Malbec at some point. I don't remember what it is like, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. It's a red. Smells okay. And this Christmas sweater is not that ugly. It's not a bad wine at all. I could see myself finishing a glass of this. So this was a really, really nice way to end this next week of my wine advent calendar. That's days 12 through 18. And at least this particular week wasn't a complete week of swill like last week. Not the greatest, but you know, what do you expect from a box of wine? Remember, adventure is out there. <laughs>